Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. This video is going to be a Goose Creek haul. I have a little bit of everything in this box of wonders next to me. So they were having a sale on their room sprays and their like car fresheners. They were on super sale. I believe they were on sale for like $1.25. And then there was also a coupon that I found that took off another like 13 or 14 cents. So I wound up getting things for so cheap. So I picked up some room sprays. I picked up some car fresheners because I actually really like their car fresheners. And then I also picked up a candle and some wax. So we will start with the candle. Um, this was on sale. I forget the price, but it's okay. This is vanilla bean. This is a two wick tumbler i've burned their tumblers before and they're pretty good i wanted this just because it was on sale and i always love to try a new vanilla scent and this is a very very sweet vanilla you definitely get like that waffle cone and the ice cream probably some whipped cream it is just really very 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 sweet almost it kind of reminds me of along the lines of like vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from bath and body works obviously just without that pumpkin it reminds me a lot of that. Just that very, very sweet, sweet bakery. Well, bakery, not bakery. More gourmand-like, sticky, sweet vanilla. I don't mind it. I definitely get marshmallow. That's for sure. That's what immediately reminded me of, like, the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Um, It has some interesting, I guess you could call it marbling. I'm not sure. Um, The top is, like, a light white, and the bottom is a lighter white and then the middle is darker so I'm, I'm gonna guess that all the oils are sitting right there in the middle if I had to take a wild guess so we shall see how this performs I'm looking forward to trying that just because I'm a sucker for vanilla and I really enjoy it except this lid is like really wonky like uh, I don't I don't like their tumbler lids like this is very cheap and flimsy so their lids are never really good on the tumblers but that's okay and we move on to the room sprays. And I don't have scent descriptions on hand because I'm filming on my phone, but I will post them down below if, oopsies, if anybody is really all that interested, I will post them below. So the first one that I have is Marshmallow Waffle Cone. And which interest, what is interesting is this is the same photo that they used to use and I'm pretty sure still use for their um, peanut peanut butter sugar candle, which I have, and you guys have seen that in a haul. So I found that interesting. So I was wondering if this was the same scent. I sprayed these once, just like to test them out, but then they all started to kind of mix. So I can't really <laughs> I can't really give you a true uh, description, but I did try to like spray them in different areas of the house real quick once I got them. But um, from what I remember, this was just like a nice. It smelled like marshmallow and vanilla i don't think it was the same as the pump as the peanut butter sugar but you never know this is very berry and i really like this one this one was very very strong they have this candle uh it, and the same picture i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure all the candles have the same picture as their matching wax melt and room spray sort of thing so this is a, oh yeah these are one and a half ounces and when I feel them, it definitely feels like they're not full all the way. Um, and some of them feel fuller than others. Like this one feels a lot more full than this one, but it's the same ounceage. Um, so I'm not really sure about all that, but I did notice that as I was pulling out of the box, I wasn't even thinking about it, but as I was pulling them out, I said, wow, this one like kind of feels light. This one feels full. Um, so... I don't know. It's just an interesting, like, thing that I noticed. Not that I really care because they were a dollar or something. So, you can't beat the price. And these are originally, I think, $2.99. They have them retailed for, which I would never pay for, ever, ever. So, I'm really happy I got these on sale. I don't really use these to, I guess, fragrance my house. I stick with, obviously, candles and wax. But I like to have these in the bathroom, you know, for obvious reasons. Guests, I like to have them... So, so the guests feel comfortable and they can spray them. Whoopsies. And sometimes it's just nice to have a little burst of smell good in the bathroom. Like 
after I get out of the shower, like I'll spray it as I'm in there, like drying off and everything. And it just smells really nice. So yeah, this is just the label in case you were wondering. Anyway, yeah, very, very, this was nice. A true, just berry scent. I, I liked that one. That one was very strong from what I recall. This is a bright bubble bath. The packaging on this is so cute. I'm actually really excited to put this in the bathroom just because it's, it's really cute with the little duckies and I love the blue. Really, really pretty. I can't even tell you what this smells like. I completely forget. Oh, it has like a citrus note for sure. Oh yeah, this is, I can smell this on the lid. Definitely citrusy note, but it's also kind of like aquatic or w more watery, I should say, not aquatic. I enjoy that one. I think that's a nice scent to have in the bathroom. Moving on, I have a few more room sprays. I have Rainbow Sugar. Really pretty, just ombre packaging. Uh, I think this is supposed to be similar to like a cotton candy scent. I don't really remember it. Like I never purchased the candle or anything, but people went nuts when this first came out. And it just smells sugary. Like a classic sugar scent. I wouldn't smell this and think cotton candy or anything. It definitely has like a, a fruity or more like a, a, a berry note and then some sugar. It's fairly similar to the Better Homes and uh, the Sensationals Cotton Candy Clouds. Kind of similar to that. This is Island Bliss. I had to get it because it's really, really cute. I, love, I should say pretty it's not cute and this one was like a little funky this one has like it's really hard to get off and when it came this thing was all like crooked um but I will say that when I spray them the spray is very nice I guess I'll just spray this one and I see it's like a very nice fine mist it doesn't take a lot of effort I'm just gonna say that like the the misting is nice <laughs> if that matters and this is very tropical it has some coconut in it definitely a beachy type of scent and I like that I think I'm gonna put that one in the bathroom next to kind of finish out summer then we have oh that is very strong <clears throat> in a good way but when you're spraying it this close to your face it's a little bit strong this is vanilla bean it's the same picture as the candle and it just smells like vanilla like a vanilla bean again the same sticky sweet marshmallowy esque type of vanilla. I feel like you can't go wrong with just classic scents like that. And then finally for the room sprays, I have lemon peel. And I think this packaging is really nice as well. It's very modern with this print at the bottom, a nice label of the scent and then a picture and then a solid. I just think this is very pretty, very modern. I enjoy this one a lot. I'm actually gonna probably keep this in the kitchen to help combat like bacon smells or just any kitchen smell. I feel like lemon's a perfect place for the kitchen. So this was, this was a very tart, yes, very strong, almost borderline cleaner lemon, but for that I really don't mind because of the fact that I'm going to use it in like a cleaning sense. I'm not gonna clean with it obviously, but I'm gonna try to clean the air with the lemon, so that I'm looking forward to trying in the kitchen. Okay, on to wax. I just picked up two things because I have never tried Goose Creek's wax before, so I was I wanted to pick up some time and true favorites of people. So I picked up Rainbow Sugar, same packaging. They These are 2.1 ounces. They look like this. And it says it lasts 50 to 80 hours, which is interesting. And I don't know if they're talking, I'm assuming they're talking the whole thing, but I would never put this whole thing in my warmer. I don't care what warmer you're using. I don't care how bad your house stinks. I would never put this in my warmer. I would probably try one. And then if it's not really doing all that well, put in two, cause it's pretty thick. Um, and I like to melt about an ounce of wax. I mean, obviously if I only melt one, that will be a lot less because an ounce would be about three cubes. But for some reason, I just feel like that's a lot, even though I, I get it, an ounce is an ounce is an ounce, no matter how you cut it. But I just feel like that's a lot. Um, and anyway, the scent is, 
yeah, very sugary. It definitely has a berry or fruity type of note to it. It's nice. Sorry, it got cut off again. Um, anyway, what I was saying is it's a nice scent. It is a, you know, very berry, fruity type scent. Like I said, reminds me sort of the Sensationals Cotton Candy Cloud sort of um, scent. So it's interesting. Would I repurchase it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I haven't melted it or anything, but it's not anything that's spectacularly different in my book. Not as of yet, anyway. And then the other one that I got is Peanut Butter Sugar. I just wanted this to go along with the candle because I have the candle that you guys saw in the last haul and I just wanted this just in case it was a little light because the first one that I burned was very, very light. And I wanted this to revamp it. And this is such a good scent. I'm kind of noticing like with their picture changing and everything, I'm really hoping they don't get rid of this scent because it's just, it is so good. Oh my God, it's just a beautiful like peanut butter, sugar, waffle cone scent. It's just, it's so, so, so good. Really, really nice. And then to finish up this haul, I just have a few of the car fresheners. I really enjoyed them. I think that they're pretty comparable to like Yankee Candles fresh car refreshers, if not better. Um, they are originally on a string, but you can just cut the string off and they have you can't really see it, but they have clips in the back that you can just, oh, here you go. It has clips in the back that you can just clip it right to your vent, which is exactly what I do. And it says you get 30 days. I obviously use it in the car, but this is nice. So I got two of the scent, uh, Soft Linen Breeze. I've used this before. It's very strong. It's just like a really nice laundry blend or scent. Um, and I have the candle as well. I actually have two of those candles. They're, that's it's that's how much I love laundry and then I got summer slices which is just a really fruity type of scent the pictures are really pretty on these by the way not that that matters but it, it looks nice in the car um this is just a fruity type of scent they say that you can push this down because if you can see they have like all these little beads in there and it's they say that you can push it down to smell like get a taste of the fragrance but I don't really get anything but anyway I'm from the scent description this was just summer it's fruit smell goods uh and the last one that I have is autumn and this one I think you could smell a little bit yeah it smells very very similar to Bath and Body Works leaves sort of scent really really beautiful for fall that picture is stunning so I'm looking forward to having those I think they're discontinuing them which is really really sad because I like them um, they didn't have any other scents that I would like. Otherwise, I would have bought a lot more. So, I'm kind of sad about that. But I have those four and the ones that I got from the Yankee SAS. So, my car should be just fine for a good while. But anyway, that is all that I have for this Goose Creek haul. Let me know down below if you are a room spray person. Do you love room sprays? Do you hate them? Would you buy them? Do you think this was a good sale? Did you get anything? Let me know down below. I'd love to chat with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.